today we will discuss on how to convert AC signal to a DC signal that is alternating current to a direct current. Now, in converting the alternating current to a DC current, we use a bridge rectifier. Therefore, a bridge rectifier is a device that is used to convert AC supply voltage to DC supply voltage. This DC voltage can be used in powering electronic devices rather than using normal batteries. In power supply circuits, two types of rectifier circuits are commonly used. We have half-wave and full-wave rectification. This is how half-wave rectification looks like and this is how full-wave rectification looks like. And this is our AC input signal. So when connecting the diodes together, the diodes are usually connected in series. Now, AC signal is fed uh, the way we have shown here. So in other words, the output from our, our bridge rectifier is our DC signal. DC meaning a direct current uh, signal. So this is how the diodes will be connected. So note that we said in discussing about diodes, the negative strip, the, the strip on a diode uh, indicates the negative side of the diode, that's the cathode and the other side represents the, the, the anode of the, of, the, of the diode. So where this diode, where a diode meets another, where the negative side of a diode, that's the cathode, meets the anode of a, another diode, is where we connect our AC supply, and where the negative side of the diode meets the other negative side of the diode, that's the cathode and cathode, that's where we will have our DC output positive, and where the, the positive side, that's the anode of one uh, diode, and the anode of another diode meets, that's where we will have our DC output, which is negative. So this is my example of how I have tried to connect my uh, my dad is to make a bridge rectifier. So note that my D1 and D2, where they meet, is where we have our DC positive. That is the negative side of the uh, diode 1 and the negative side of diode 2, where they meet, that's where we have our D positive, DC positive. And where D3 and D4 meet, here, that's where we'll have our direct current negative. And where we have our D4 and D1 meeting, that's where we'll supply our AC. It can be either a neutral or live. So the four diodes labeled D1 to D4 are arranged in series. That's to say, diode 1, diode 2, diode 3, and diode 4 are arranged in series pairs. So with only two uh, diodes conducting current during each half cycle. Now during the positive half cycle of the supply, diode 1 here and diode 2 here conduct electricity in series. While diode the 3 and diode 4 are in fast bias, therefore they do not conduct uh, current. So for example here, a current will flow uh, in this direction as shown. It will pass through diode 1, it will go through our load, it will go through our diode 2 and back to our AC supply. So we have said diode 1 and the diode 2, they are forward piped and therefore they, they conduct our current. So when the the uh, during the, the the negative half cycle, diode three and diode four are uh, forward biased. 
So that means diode 3 and diode 4 will conduct our current or voltage, but diode 1 and diode 2 will be off. That means they are now reversed biased. And this is how the current now will flow. The current now will flow uh, from uh, uh, our AC supply through our D3, that's diode 3, through the load, back to diode 4, through the diode 4, and then back to our AC supply. So that's how the current will be flowing. So as we have said, diode 4 and diode 3 will be forward biased, while diode 1 and diode 2 will be reverse biased. So for you to know uh, <coughs> the positive side or the negative side of any rectifier, you simply you have to check online. So online, when you check online, uh, we have uh, data sheets for each electronic component. For example, all rectifiers, they have da their data, uh, data sheets online. So you have to search for a, a specific number of that uh, bridge rectifier online for you to get the details about the bridge rectifier, the, 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 where there is a cathode, and there was the anode, and where you connect your AC in, so and where there will be your DC out. For example, in this <coughs> uh, bridge rectifier, the number of this bridge, uh, bridge rectifier is KPP C1010. So when you search this online, you will get the details about this bridge rectifier. So always confirm <coughs> with each component data sheet for you to be able to apply it correctly. So for for now, I will just tell you that this uh, bridge rectifier, this is the positive side of this uh, power supply, and this is the negative side. So uh, this as an, is an example of an SMD uh, bridge rectifier. It has shown correctly the number of this uh, bridge rectifier, that's DB15157S. And this is where you connect your AC, and this is where you connect your AC. And this will be your output, DC positive and DC negative. So that's an example of uh, an SMD, that service mount device. Uh, bridge rectifier. This is another example of a bridge rectifier with this number being KBP 210. So it sh it has shown correctly where there is positive side and where there is a negative side of the DC output and DC and EAC input. And this is also another type of bridge rectifier and it, it has shown you on top correctly uh, how uh, you will be uh, connecting your bridge rectifier. So this is another example of a bridge rectifier which is an SMD. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.